Paimon has so many questions about his true identity. Let's go talk to him and... Did I hear that right? Monsieur? That's right. No, oh, but why? Nevelet! Sadine! Hey there! What are you two talking about? Oh, Traveler and Paimon, please. No, this is completely unprecedented. Thank you for your con- Oh. Apo so, what is- A melusine named- And then? That is all the information I- no idea why you're. I've checked the schedule in advance, and it seems like there aren't any tr. Thank you for understanding. She may have no interest in a fit. Yes, yes, understood. Judging from Sadine's reaction, it must be pretty rare for you to. I cannot. There could be complicated conflicts of interest behind all this. Come on! It is not my intent. Long story short, there were few people I could trust. But I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a melusine. They must have been a... Indeed. The reforms de... The incident resulted in Carol taking all melusine... I granted there were... Many common folk believe that I share a special... Some of them, especially those who hold a grudge... I have nothing against the opinions of... It has already happened one. Um, eat. there's the guard... Based on prior experience, there is a... The political system of Fontaine is relative. However, since I am... T outside? But aren't you the chief... I understand where you are coming from. You know very well about my true identity. Even though I was born with a human f taking on the role... Of I have lived in Fontaine for a long time. Yeah! Let's team up... Hmm. <laughs> I will write my note of... Let us go. We should be... Like he doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine, but Paimon feels like he has a. Paimon's been thinking. Thank you for... Please allow me to rephrase. Has a dragon out of water? Ugh. That sounds kind of weird. Let's stick with the previous version instead. See him here. <sighs> Kiara. Huh? Monsieur Nevelette. And oh, I remember. You're the tr Aww, she's <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Is there anything I can do for you? I heard from Sedine that you- A threatening letter. Oh, right! I remember now. The letter fell through the crack, but Sedine told me it was a threatening- Have you run into any suspicious-looking people recently? Suspicious-looking people? What counts as suspicious? Ah! Oh, did you think of something? Nope. I don't remember meeting anyone like that. Do you still have the letter with you? I want you to show me what it says. Oh, uh, let's see. Found it. Now then. <clears throat> hmm. A simple threat. Neither the handwriting nor the con- We can't rule out that- Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, Kiara, you should come with us. Sure! Uh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, but you are being watched right now. And that's where we come in! 
going to help. We'll stay with Karen. With us around and Thank you, Traveler. Fix this, Paimon. Uh... All right. We'll take her to a lost place, right? So, Kiara, how old are you? Hmm, let me think. One, two, ten? Uh, I can't remember. But I remember coming to the Court of Fontaine with Carolyn Nuvillet. That must have been a long time ago. Carol? Did Nervilla mention her just now? That was more than 400 years ago! Why would Paimon be a big sister to you? My memory isn't that good. But Carol told me I could address others based on how I feel about them. Paimon feels a lot more grown up than me, so you're a big sis. Huh. Paimon sees. Uh... Hey, Traveler, did you hear that? Strange. Paimon felt like someone was following us. Alas! Kiara, you're here. Huh? Wait. Aren't these two... Oh, they're the Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. I thought so. What brings you here? All right. May I begin... Of course. No hazards detected? That was quick. I took a look around the shop. Navilette says that us melt things like bloodstains. All right, all right. Now that you're... Hear me out. I'm planning to release it. Of course! Please wait a moment while I take your... Seems like they get along with... Huh? What are you looking at? Is there really someone watching us? Shh! <laughs> Strange. Gotcha! Ugh. Charlotte! Oh, wait! Threat letter? What threat letter? Uh, this is starting. You want to interview? That's right! But it's not any. So imagine how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It seemed like you were investigating something, too. Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript to him for review. I have my principles, and I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public knowledge. I see. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll put this matter aside for now. Oh, what a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. In exchange, could you tell me what the threat letter is about? I swear I won't tell. All right, then. What? Someone's targeting a cute little melazine. Shh, not so loud. It just so happens that I did an interview with Kiara. Last month, in fact. It was well received by our readers, so I was planning to continue the series. And now someone's coming after her. I'll ask my colleagues about it. Who knows? We might find something. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. This secret's safe with me. But I gotta warn you, even if I keep my lips sealed, others will know eventually. Why? People care a great deal about Monsieur... Anyway. Well, that was a nice chat. <clears throat> Let's head back and check... What's the hurry? What do you think? The design looks pretty good, huh? I think it's girl. Huh. Karan! What are you doing here? It seems that you just showed up out of nowhere! As I passed by the pal- Technically speaking, he- I happen to have some time at- Ah, oh, never let you- Leave this to me. You should- Okay then, we'll leave-
What's the hurry? Oh, you're back. Is everything all right? We ran into that is good to hear. We've had some I've been looking over the case records, specifically inspection reports, and I've come up with two plans. On, one, on the other, I could also analyze the conflicting... Hmm. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official document. Well, you need... Thank you. I will continue... Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but they're... Oh, they're so... I would love to answer that. If memory serves me... Whoa. That might be how it seems from another's perspective. There are many doc... <sighs> All right. Let us take a break. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? Astute observation. It is indeed water. So it's just plain old water? What did you think it was? Um, since you're the Chief Justice and all, Paimon thought you'd prefer something more sophisticated. This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophistic. Uh -huh. I believe you've already tr said water is sourced from all across Teva. Here is one of their latest products. Water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. Mm. 
If I were to comment on their mouth feel, distinct difference. What do you think? Uh... <laughs> How reg- Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our taste. Huh? Oh, could it be because you're the Hydro Dragon? Uh... We are allowed to bring that up, right? Oh, Paimon's been wanting to ask this for ages. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just curious. You don't have to- there's nothing to hide. I was. I accepted this position because. Questions? Many, in fact. In essence, I not. I lost many memories from the moment I was born. The primordial sea, for example. I can only vaguely recall its connection to me, but I am unaware of what that connection is exactly. Perhaps the element. True. I have been holding on to. But there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. By observing their behavior, perhaps I could one day understand the meaning of my existence. Have you made any progress? Perhaps, but uh, that's why I'm quite... Are we gonna con I wasn't able to find... Water? Do you mean... That's right. The Fountain of Lucene is where all of Fontaine's waters... If there really were an... Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sense... Huh. Perhaps we should go. Monsieur Nervillette? I probably shouldn't disturb them. Looks like we got lucky today. There's hardly anyone around. Uh, what should we do now? Oh, Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Perhaps leave the investigation to me. A safe distance? I understand your... Although I have response... I know. Not only can... But a meaning... F it's... In truth, or almost... <sighs> I understand your... I too can... Really? The truth is... Logically speak, different identity... There aren't many... Oh, I'm confident... I believe in you. Huh? Yes. Do that stone... He is a... No need. Oh. Hello, I'm Carol, a melazine. Is there anything you need help with? Get away from here. I'm calling the guards. Please calm down. I don't mean to call. 
cause any harm? Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, we should probably stay away from these monsters. Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been increasing ever since they came. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? I can't believe Nervilite allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. I swear, there's some hidden agenda at play here. Go away! Quit acting innocent! I'm not leaving! I won't let you say bad stuff about him! We joined the Mari Chaussee Phantom and solved lots and lots of cases. We've never done anything wrong! Solving cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you! You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know! So tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? Uh, I... Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Votre? Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Chaussee Phantom, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has every right to subject you to interrogation. There have indeed been an increase in cases recently, perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy, and I understand your concern. However, there's been no evidence pointing towards Melazines being involved. <laughs> Even the captain of the security patrol is on their side. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? You heard that? Yeah, I don't understand. There have been rumors. There are countless negative rumors about you floating around. Monsieur Nervalet said that we... I still want to try a little hard... <sighs> okay, I... Give them to me. You're... We'll hand them out together. Medals of Peace, thank you for your continued dedication in the past five years. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that. We wouldn't... It won't be long before Melazines begin living peacefully with the humans. Just the... Don't keep your hopes. Ugh, you block... Hmm. Botran brings up a good point. Please be on your guard. Yes, sir. Okay. Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalet, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Let will be left. I guess you're right. Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette, too! Peaceful coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back! The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltra. Go on. 
There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillet confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carroll chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between inf <sighs> that... Captain Voltrin, should I present? There's no need. Restrict access to... <sighs> There's something I've never told Carol. I had a little... She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innes, from the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be... E Looks like she was un... <sighs> yes. I should have known. Can you understand how... I understand, but I'm... That's exactly why we need to keep the... I will take responsibility for everything. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Secu- Apparently, he- I'm thinking- Bail him out? Shh, keep it- Besides- <laughs> Vautrin sought vengeance for his friend for a valid cause. This represents the justice he uphold- Please, think about it. If the same thing had- Yeah, that's right! This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against care- Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Voltra is innocent! He's innocent! Order! I acknowledge your arguments. But I understand your decision. Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined. Therefore... What? That can't be! Monsieur Nervillet, please... Voltran. What? Nervillet. What have I done to deserve this? Is this what justice... Order. Since there have been no further objection... According to the judgment of the oratory. Goodbye, Monsieur Nouvellet. This all happened because of Carol's night. How can different species. Apologies, it seems like my ma I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro due to my negligence. The overflow- Wow. Anyways, the last- It is as you said. It is not only the fount- That sounds- But I rarely ever do anything like this. Which ones? <laughs> it's fine. I it was a coincidence, but you should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all- uh, Don't leave Paimon out of the conversation- Then let us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fact, I did not sense too much. However, I don't know what co- Oh! Didn't we- You've read about it. In that case- Huh? Navia! Nice to see- I've heard something. Rumors are brought, so I told the Spina- Thank you. Where did you hear of- The Chief Justice- You talked to Kia- So that's what she- Indeed. Hmm. Anyway. The suspects who threat- We are planning to- re All right. Then wait for my word. Ta-ta! Uh, never let. I have already considered that possibility. What is more important, I hope the same. Strange. What are these people doing out on the street so late at night? Did something happen? Let's take a look around. Have you heard? Someone's plotting against a melazine. 
This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice is a- What? That's it! Who's- Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. That's exactly what I want. Think about how much we owe that- Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings for- It feels like you've been following me this- We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. Have you had dinner yet? This isn't a good time. Come on. Don't act tough. <sighs> All right. You shouldn't ever skip meals. Is that- I heard even Nervulet's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. Seriously? Were you plan- Relax, I was just plan- That's more like it. Come and fight me and- Have you heard? Even the special patrol- Shh, look. Is it- uh, Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. This is tr- So- No, I should stay where I am. Let us stick to our plan and return to the pa- The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Marechal Safe. The list of involved. What does it say? The principal offenders, Domenico. Those with close. Among them. So, so many. Yes. It seems like he's closely related. Monsieur Nivellet, someone claiming to be from. He said and. Huh? How did Navia find them so quick? I too am perplexed. These are the people who have had recent dealings at the Marechaussee Phantom. Invite them up? Exactly. Now, I heard there's great... Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, uh, but... Oh, well. Yes. You're Essa? Yes. Did you write that threatening... Um... <clears throat> I, I did, but I... Orders from... Dominico. He was my... Dominico? Where is he now? The fortress of... Well, uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourself. You've done more than enough. Leave the formalities for later. You should... F if he really is the one setting up... All right, then. Let's... 
Welcome to the Fortress of Meripede, dear esteemed guests. We're back! Oh, and a great- This isn't anything new. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasant- Hmm. I do remember a thing or two of- What does this guy think he is? He once attempted to be honest. Dominico doesn't seem like much of a conspirator. <sighs> He's got the same concerns we do. I'm concerned about this incident because some- That's an easy one. Oh. Did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? Seedream! Yeah, and where it really? There's no need to worry. <sighs> well, that's great. But if the criminal's still... Ah, head nurse. Rithesley. Okay, I get it. Think of it as more of a humble request. Thanks for the trouble. Whoa. If I'm a... Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter... But enough jokes. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse. Please come with me to the infirmary. Ah, and watch your step. There's some pretty dark areas, so... Now that I think about it, I can leave this place soon. Huh? What's the hurry? Please rest here for a moment. Oh, and wood and... Hi, Mom's Thirst is a warning sign. I'll bring you some tea. Ah, typical sea dream. Concerned about it? Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? You notice them too. The badge is familiar. But if both of you say so, let's go. Up That's not a bad idea. <gasps> What's the hurry? It's the symbol of the mutual aid. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a Medal of Peace. <laughs> I've never seen one of those medals. The first president of all of us have a... Interested in joining? If you'd like to learn more...
Our slogan may have a here. This book. Anything you need? Oh, this? What's this? We have a very long history. We have never had many members throughout our history. Helping each other is our purpose. Sounds like a pretty... <laughs> All we want is to defend ourselves. But people won't give us a hard time. We should have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Nevelette. Did you manage to gather any intel? Mm-hmm. The people who wore the badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded Carol's medal was destroyed and Oh, so the network Monsieur Nervilet, his grace has requested your presence. Hmm. All right. Allow me to introduce this. Why don't you explain it? N Nevilet? Calm down. Was it your idea? Uh, I... Hassan has already confessed. Not that idiot! Let me ask this another way. Who is pulling your... What? Y you're not trying to... Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your... I assume your previous attempt to incite un... I... I can do that. You see? I only intended to do some small business at first. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marisha, but I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that some- <sighs> And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over My initial target was Nervilet. Everyone in the forces of Meropede was to- But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That, in the end, I had to redirect my focus. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I recall- Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thought? No. Is it true that all members involved- Yes. Hmm. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. So, Monsieur Nervilet, you were cons- Yes. I experienced a similar incident. And how long ago? More than 400 e You might be overthinking that. Time can change a lot of things. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Mel- That's right! We saw lots of people standing up for- Monsieur Nevilet, the Melaz- When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because for almost 500 years, you've conducted every- People no longer have any reser- Right now, your every decision- Hyman gets it now. No wonder- I am undeserving of- It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. It is unnecessary to hold me- uh, There's no need to be- You're no longer that outsider you were- I must say that you've been- Thank you for clearing my doubt. Huh? You're leaving? And so soon, too? Wh Thank you for the offer, but while some are here to redeem themselves, it will inept the less time I spend here, the better. In that case, I'll have to insist. Please. The first is about the guard who ha Ah, and the guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I meant- Well, that makes things a lot easier. Hey now, don't let your- Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind- I see no issues with- Great! That's one thing out of the- The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Yep. I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the fortress of Merope. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin. According to existing documentation, Vautrin, in other words, how he presented himself in prison. What? 
During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. Perhaps he had been... An act. Nervillette and Vautran had a... Thus, the more resentment he displayed. And to those who had been sitting on the fence. <sighs> that's all from me. I don't have anything. Well then, let... Please, take care. That trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me on to do something. But Risley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? Time itself. I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? It's surprise, relief, fear, and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? Paimon agrees with everything Risley said. As Chief Justice, every single one of your trial, uh, hey! What I really think every trial you've ever judged has left its impression. Hmm. That is, as I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. But I trust your judgment. These changes were not due to any specific. I will try to contemplate this further. It's raining again. I've had enough of this weather. Ah, uh, there go my travel plans. Did you read the news this morning? Quick, put away everything on the clothesline. <sighs> when is this rain going to stop? <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! They're planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melisines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet! The rainy season's almost over! <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead.
Is the matter resolved? Yep, we found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the mel- Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for- dr There's no need to- Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. Uh, by the way, where's- At the Palais Marmonia, I was worried that the excess of protection would make her feel- <sighs> What? Well, now it looks like to celebrate this- That's not how you- I will con- <gasps> Really? Of course. My schedule is- Come up with questions. Uh oh <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I must head back to the Palais, and I hope it will assuage the concerns of all. Kiora? <laughs> it's quite all right. Thank you, monsieur. And thank you too, traveler in Big Sis Paimon. Do you remember Domenico? Let me think. By the way, I saw Carol... Uh... In my dream, I can't remember what... I can sense your joy. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I promised to mop... Of course. See you next time, miss... Hmm. See you next time.